Hello and welcome to this channel. Kindly subscribe. Today let's talk about scalability. How do you scale your business? How do you scale your real estate investment projects? How do you scale, you know, whatever project you are dealing on? Because one thing we know is it's very easy to start. It's very easy to start. Uh, maybe you start with, uh, if it's real estate, you start with one unit, two units, three units, four units. Now the question, the hardest bit now becomes, how do you scale? How do you replicate that success? How do you duplicate that success? Because mostly if you're looking at business, just generally now for anyone who is in business, you find that uh, mostly businesses grow at, uh, you know, at a very slow pace. What I mean is this. Maybe you started your business first year. Maybe you did a hundred thousand. I'm talking of turnover. Uh, maybe you did a hundred thousand. Uh, the next year, maybe you did one fifty thousand, which is a fifty percent growth, right? Maybe the third year you did two hundred thousand, which is again, uh, it's like twenty five percent growth. Maybe the next year you did three hundred, something like that. So your business is growing in multiples of zero point five percent, zero point five times zero point five or uh, it's you know annexing and stuff but then now you wonder uh with that kind of growth how many years would it take you to move your business from maybe doing turnovers of 100,000 to turnovers of like a million per year or 5 million or 10 million because at the end of the year at the end of the day everyone is in business to grow it not just to you know uh get comfortable wherever they are and when it comes to that, there is usually two types of business business people. One kind are the self-employed, and also uh, part of that I would call them, you know, those guys who call themselves, who are like consider themselves business owners. What they do is you wake up in the morning, you go to your business. Uh, in the evening, you go back to your house. The next day, you go back to your business. And now, uh, over time, you realize that your business hits uh a limit in terms of growth now you have to scale out now you have to like start opening branches now when that happens there are two kinds two kinds of uh, mentalities come out one mentality is um, somebody doesn't want to grow because they want to uh, still maintain control of their business this is what I mean uh, let's say you have a shop customers know you you know for you so they always come because victor is the one selling victor is always the one on the counter now you've grown you've gotten to a level where your, your shop cannot you know take up any extra stock uh your so your shop is already serving you know it has already hit a, a a particular level in your area that you can't go beyond now maybe if you are doing if you're doing a hundred thousand per month now it's hundred thousand maybe ninety eight thousand one or two thousand but it's still around that amount now the only way you can grow is now scale out now maybe go to another uh, location and open another branch branch two maybe branch three branch four which means now you won't have control in all of them at a particular time maybe if you're in branch one you have to have employees or your team uh, part of your team now running branch two and three and four which also applies to when you are in branch two, it means the other branches are open for other guys to manage. And now when it comes to that, it really scares a number of people. And you find they just, you know, they just want control. They are comfortable with what they're doing. So they stay where they are. And I usually call them business owners and self-employed. You are comfortable with what you're doing. This is my thing. I understand my game better than everybody else. And I'm okay. But then there are guys who call themselves entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs are about numbers this year you did a million how do you what strategies do you put in so that next year you maybe 2x your business or 3x your business or 5x your business this is what i mean first year maybe you did a million next year now you're thinking of what strategies do i put in so that this new year i can do 2 million now you realize that is a hundred percent growth or what strategies do i put in so that first year i did a million this second year, I want to do 3 million. Maybe third year, I want to do 7 million. Maybe fourth year, I want to do 15 million. You can't have the same thinking. You can't have the same capacity of, uh, of running your things and not, or not creating uh, you know, structures that as a, a typical business owner would do. So now, when it comes to this, that is basically what now I call, uh, we call scalability. In terms of what you mean is uh, 
how you are able to grow your business exponentially without having to you know without every inc- every growth being involved with a unit cost uh this is this an example is uh how do you move from let's say if it cost you a million to generate 2 million how do you now put in a strategies and structures in place so that now it will not necessarily cost you another million to make another 1 million so that uh, if you're doing let's say a million first year second year you're doing 3 million you are able to maintain costs low and uh, one of the way, best ways to do that is like let's say gen- leveraging on technology and creating a brand whereby now uh, while the first years you are doing a lot of marketing a lot of advertising a lot of referrals to get your business now in two or three years now people are able to discover you without you having to struggle and give you business like they are able to come and just give you business because they have heard of your brand they have interacted with your brand in one way or the other and they just love it and another 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 easy way to do that is uh, to scale your business usually is now the technology leveraging on technology for instance if let's say you're running a hardware business just an example running it as a business owner concept way is whereby you are uh, first year you're running your hardware maybe you've grown it in two years now it's hit a, it is hit a, a you know uh maybe a limit in terms of the numbers that are coming maybe now you are just doing two million and uh growing the other one way of growing is opening branches in every now location maybe if it's nairobi uh kimathi street you have a hardware it's doing very well you realize there is another opportunity on loita street you go open another branch there maybe you realize kinyata kinyata street has also a lot of uh, opportunity you go open there you also even start now branching out maybe you go to kasarani set up one maybe mombasa road uh, you go maybe kilimani side maybe you go westland side uh, as far as thika and you know you start expanding that way which will necessarily mean you still uh, are leveraging on you still need space you still need employees like a number of employees if a hardware is managed by 10 if every other hardware you open you will still need 10 10 10 10 10 right uh you still now need advertisement on the ground and all that just make sure that you still stand out in every location one way is doing that the other way is and there are several businesses that have uh really craft really master that art uh one another way is now leveraging on technology whereby instead of now having independent uh hardwares all over the country now instead of that you have regional warehouses where all this you know your stock is stored there your inventory is stored there which necessarily doesn't have now to be in town and then you invest in distribution and now you invest in technology for technology part is whereby you have a dedicated team that maybe is running an app or running an e-commerce website or even just phone numbers you know maybe you are just strong on social media so if i want cement for for instance i just have to search your your contact i call uh the order is taken uh you are able to you know the your team now your call center or sales agents team are able to liaise with the client online client can pay and then the order is taken put on the you know lorry or whatever and then it's taken to the client so those are the kind of uh strategies that can really help in terms of scaling your business so uh when it comes to scalability it's always about you deciding what is good for you for instance uh first year maybe you did uh 200000 maybe the second year you want to do 400000 one of the ways is you look at now it's it's usually an internal process because now you will look at the turnover that came the by ten of turnover i mean total income that came in now you look at uh, that versus the expenses that went out and then you the question you ask yourself is of these expenses that went out which ones could be avoided which ones could be broke you know could be brought down and then which ones is more of an investment into the brand in terms of 
for instance for me i'm right, right now i'm very I'm, I'm very you know i'm very strong on uh, corporate events i mean that is where we 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 we, we are currently very you know we're doing a lot of corporate events and you realize for us the events as much as it's a business on its own on its own but with high expense uh but it's giving us a lot of brand uh visibility for our own brands it's giving us a lot of uh corporate partnerships within the sectors that we operate it's giving us a platform from which now we can launch any product we want. So we know that right now, as much as the corporate events are, you know, the core business of the company, in two years, three years time, we can easily branch to do something else. So the corporate events are giving us what you call, something we call brand elasticity, which we mean is, uh, uh, the, if there is a company, there are companies that have mastered that art, like they are so strong on that, for instance, uh, if you're looking at a company like Safaricom, Safaricom ideally started as a network company, being able to help you uh, call, call person A, person B, person 3 and do your business. Then it went to start from, it moved from there to data and now it started with data, phone data, now internet and all that. Now they're selling phones, you buy, no question, no questions asked. Now they they, they launched M-Pesa and we are okay. Now they're doing gas and we are fine, you know. Now they are almost in all spheres. Some time back I got a message from Safaricom about now them selling domains, website domains and everything. So they, that's the kind of brand elasticity that has helped them because they've already built a platform. So now the question would be, now for you to enable, for you to be enabled to build that kind of uh, brand elasticity, sorry for you to enable you build you know create that leverage for scaling what kind of platforms are you building is it like maybe you're strong on social media where by now uh you have you have built a very strong you know uh following on social media that will now help you if you decide now this year while maybe we made a hundred thousand this year maybe you want to do two hundred thousand you can maybe advertise more on that group or try to convince more of that group to buy from you. Or if it means maybe you are targeted a very small niche of people, maybe now you look at how you can expand it a bit so that you are able to bring in a bigger, a bigger number of clients. Or if it's this specific niche of people, you now start looking at it in terms of what else would you provide to them that would be of value to them. Uh, for instance, our our kind of clientele are uh, we are looking at people who are running businesses, SME owners. We are looking at branch managers. You know, people whose people would say people with money, right? So the question for us has always been, what else would we provide to them to solve their problems? Is it about uh, providing them convenience? Is it about enabling them you know connect and uh, do business better is it about providing a platform where they can meet their clients now through expos or is it about you know just being there i mean as a friend and just being able to understand what issues they have and trying to uh, provide solutions as possible as 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 we can yeah so ideally uh, this is just an introductory uh, an introductory video on scaling but it is something that is something very important for your business so that now you don't just build a business that is doing a hundred thousand i was been doing two hundred thousand for the last 10 years no you should build businesses that are able to grow exponentially your first year maybe you did a hundred thousand next year you did three hundred thousand the next year you did five hundred thousand the next year you did a million plus and you you keep expanding in that in that sense so thank you so much for joining in and i uh, hope to see you soon